What's up guys, it's uh, Deep Mystery here once again and I'm out here in the Kuiper Relay heading into the Kuiper, the uh, Conclave area to uh, give you guys a little showcase of uh, what I've been doing so far in Conclave as far as weapons and everything. And you guys can leave some comments below the video if you guys like or you know dislike or have some feedback you know on uh, what weaponry you guys use well, no matter which uh, platform you guys are on but I run on PS4 of course so uh, without further ado I'll go ahead and show you guys my current uh, most trusted build uh, first being my uh, gilded robe here uh, one of my favorites Alright, so this is one of my newer builds that I'm just kind of experimenting with. My first slot is always uh, one of the slots that I save for, you know, just kind of mixing around stuff, seeing which uh, weaponry I'm kind of accustomed to. But right now in the experimental slot, I got the Attica, of course, one of my favorite uh, primary weapons. Does a heck of a lot of damage out there in Conclave, especially when we're getting those headshots. Uh, Sonicor, I just kind of... Uh, been messing around with this just recently. Uh, I do like the knockback, even though the impact damage is, uh, you know, a little bit low. You know, you're not going to be using this too much in uh, in uh, too many situations. But what I like to use this for, in the most part, after uh, having some research and gameplay with it, so I like to get that knockdown from this uh, weapon that's pretty much guaranteed at any point, and then come in with my melee weapon uh, to finish off the job. Speaking of my melee, it's only going to be the most trusted, the most powerful, and the most godlike Leoma. I have to have these in my set. It's one of my most favorite, and it's definitely my primary go-to melee weapon out there in PvP. Nothing else I've ever used in here really comes close to the dependability that I've seen from these. Tonfas, in general, uh, have a lot of good damage output. Nice combinations, the R2 combo being one of my favorites out there. And let me just show you real quick because I have to, you know, show off a little bit. Here's my build for the uh, PvP mode here. I got a counterweight as a uh, as one of my damage conversions. Even though you don't see the stat there, uh, you'll notice when you use this particular mod and the, uh, the stance along with it. Uh, just pull into there. If you look at the Wandering Scourge, uh, combination there. Uh, the third hit, which is that R2 plus circle combination, procs impact. Therefore, uh, counterweight is actually what I'm going to be using. Because I use the R2 combo quite a lot more than the other ones as well, uh, getting that extra impact damage from the stun that already occurs is actually advantageous in any situation, really, especially with a channeling attack. Now let me show you one of my uh, backup builds here. It's pretty much the same layout as the uh, the first one, but with a few changes. I'm looking more for speed and uh, accuracy. Now see, this one here is the Sinai Simulator. I know I haven't really seen much of this in PvP content or, you know, anywhere else really uh, around the Conclave. It's more, once again, a, a experimental weapon. But what I like to use this thing for is a... Uh, a lot of clandestine attacks, a lot of, uh, you know, trapping moves. You might refer to uh, Dragon Ball Z with Piccolo's Hell Zone Grenade. Uh, I could actually attest to say, and that's exactly how I like to use this weapon, uh, using the Alt-Fire button to explode the, the, uh, the, the nodes that you create uh, with this weapon. It's actually quite tactical. Uh, you can hold off a pretty good zone, especially in closed areas. And then you could come in with your melee weapon and uh, finish the job. As for my secondary, I'm uh, running the normal Axe Stiletto. Uh, very quick firing, high accuracy, really straight line firing, lots of nice damage output. I actually quite appreciate these, uh, especially as a, uh, a good finishing move. I like to catch an opponent off guard with low health, finish the job with these, pretty reliable. Now you can see these glinting emerald crusted wonderful beauties right here hanging off my belt but the dual commas prime here uh, quickly becoming uh, if not more than the Oma actually a very dependable weapon uh, before I made a video 
on the Dex Dakra, uh, which was actually pretty productive. Uh, ended up coming out victor and victorious on it. But as far as the Dual Comics Prime, uh, looking there, of course, at the stats dividing blades, it actually works it out a lot better than uh, than the Dual com the Dual uh, sorry uh, the Dex Dakra do. Uh, and again, I'm running the counterweight mod as well to proc that impact because again I'm very reliant on the uh, the R2 combos in my uh, in my builds and uh, you know in my actual combat sword alone to of course uh, give me that mobility and sprint speed and you're gonna see me use that on all of my uh, melee builds here so definitely this second slot here is meant uh, for a lot more speed and mobility getting up to high places and falling on the enemy and uh, you can look forward to at some point uh, me going into a video using the Sinoid Simulator in PvP uh, to give you an idea of just how these things, uh, this thing that works in the uh, in that circuit. Now, unofficially named Blunderstorm Agent, this is again one of my more experimental builds. I'm running the Prisma Tetra with my Volt Prime here. Uh, along with the Ozma, uh, which I've actually heard is an excellent PvP weapon, very accurate in uh, most situations, actually puts out good damage, especially when placing those headshots. And uh, I'm running the Broken War as a, uh, a tribute to a time when I was using the Broken War and long swords in general in PvP in the very beginning. Uh, I believe my first video, I came from nothing in my Conclave Life series. I actually covered my usage of this weapon. It wasn't very precise in the beginning, but nowadays I feel that I can definitely bring something to the table with this particular one. Uh, because I'm very interested in my melees and everything else. Uh, there's the Rising Steel combination. Uh, it's definitely very attributive uh, to the normal variation, Iron Phoenix. Uh, you're gonna see that pretty quickly once you're uh, once you're into that. And so let me just go ahead and uh, adjust that there to fit the sword alone, so that we uh, we have continuity through our builds here. But that's pretty much uh, at in a nutshell what I've been running these days and uh, what's reliable, what feels good to me out there. Uh, so. I'll see you guys on the next video when I uh, publish the Sinoid Simulator in uh, another PvP match in Conclave Life on Sunday. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This is once again the mystery out here in the Kuiper Relay. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.